as part of our efforts to save the Kilimanjaro Amboseli ecosystem. I've been visiting the place. It's a vast, vast landscape, and the best way to see it is from the air. This is Africa's most iconic landscape, with Mount Kilimanjaro to the south, the Chulu Hills to the north, and in between is the oasis of Amboseli, a refuge for millions of animals that come from far and wide for the water in an otherwise dry landscape. The habitats range from the alpine areas with snow-capped mountains to moorlands, forests, bushlands, woodlands, cloud forests, and of course, these vast swamps. And as a result of this diversity of habitats and altitudes, we have an enormous diversity of plants, insects, mammals, birds, reptiles, frogs, you name it. This is one of the most diverse ecosystems in Africa. This amazing land has always been occupied by the Maasai people, pastoralists, who need to move across this land to graze their livestock. But as the human population grows in this area, we're beginning to see effects on the land. Towns, farms, and even mining. There is a way to do development on fragile land like this. But it's not this. It's not scarring the land. It's not poisoning the water. It's not preventing animals from migrating. We need to save the Kilimanjaro Amboseli ecosystem. If you want to join us, go to wildlifedirect.org and sign up to be part of the effort to save Amboseli.